Daniel's Duck by Kerry Hardy. Kerry Hardy was born in 1951 and grew up in County Down. She now lives in County Kilkenny with her husband, the writer Sean Hardy. Her poems have won many prizes. Her poetry is brave, confronting both the death of her loved ones and her own experiences with illness. Hardy finds inspiration from nature. Can you remember the first time you saw a dead animal as a child? Or the first time your own child saw a dead animal? Where were you? What did you see? How did you feel? Did you really understand that it was dead? Stanza 1 I held out the shot mallard. She took it from me. Looped its neck string over a drawer of the dresser. The children were looking on, half caught. Then the kitchen life, warm, lit, glowing, moved forward, taking in the dead bird. With its coldness, its wildness, were leeching away. To leech is to empty or drain. The life was draining away from the dead duck. Stanza 2 The children were sitting to their dinners. Us two, drinking tea, hardly noticing the child's quiet slide from his chair. The youngest child, Daniel, was very curious about the duck so quietly slid from his chair to go unnoticed. His small absorbed body before the duck's body. Daniel was 100% focused on the duck. The duck changing, feral live. In Daniel's imagination, he recalled all the past ducks he had seen, who were wild ducks, arrowing up out of the black slablands. Daniel's previous experience of ducks were something that fly and shoot up like arrows, out of the black slablands, out of the damp land with a gleam of a river falling away below. These are images that are flashing through Daniel's mind as he stares at the duck that isn't moving. He recalls all previous ducks flying up out of water. Then the duck dead again, hanging from the drawer knob. So Daniel comes back to reality away from his imagination and notices that this duck is not moving. It's just hanging from the drawer knob. The green head, the brown neck running into the breast, the intricate silvery greyness of the back, the wings, their white bars and blue flashes. Daniel had never been so close to a duck before. He looked at its green head and its brown neck. He noticed the intricate or very complicated detailed design that it had on its back. And he also noticed the wings which had beautiful white bars and blue flashes. The feet their snaky orange scaliness, small claws, piteous webbing. Once again, Daniel had never been so close to a duck and he noticed how the duck's feet looked like snake skin. He noticed its small little sharp claws and its piteous webbing. He, the duck's webbed feet were not moving and Daniel felt sorry for it. Its yellow beak blooded. Daniel suddenly noticed some blood on its beak. Perhaps this was a sign to Daniel 
that the duck was sick. The hole like a weighted sack. Here the duck, the dead duck, is being compared by using a simile like a weighted sack. Rigor mortis had set in and the duck's body was now heavy like a weighted sack of potatoes. This is unlike the ducks Daniel had seen before shooting up out of the river. All that downward dragginess of death. Here we have alliteration of D. Downward dragginess of death. Here draggy means tiring and dull and there was absolutely no movement out of the duck. He hovered, took a step forward, a step back. Daniel stared down at the dead duck. He took one step forward and then suddenly he took one step back. Something appeared in his face, some knowledge of a place where he stood and the world stilled. This is the moment that the young child Daniel suddenly realises that the duck is dead. Knowledge of death appeared on his face and time stood still. The lit streaks of sunrise running off red into the high bowl of morning. Now Daniel is afraid. He sees the bowl of blood underneath the duck. Death is everywhere. He looks at the sky outside and sees red streaks in that as well. Suddenly he is aware that death is all around. She watched him moving to touch his hand out. What is it, Daniel? Do you like the duck? He turned as if caught in the act. Daniel didn't know that he was being watched. He presumed he was going to be in trouble. But then he saw the gentleness in her face and his body loosened. I thought there was water on it. He was finding the words one by one, holding them out to see if they would do us. But there isn't. Daniel tried to make an excuse as to why he was so close to the duck. He pretended he was checking to see if the duck was dead. Perhaps he doesn't have the words to explain that he has just discovered about death. Or perhaps he doesn't want his mother to know that he suddenly understands about death. He added this on, going small with relief. Daniel was delighted that his mother believed his excuse, that his wing drag of sounds was enough. A drag force occurs in aeroplanes due to the wings redirecting air to cause it to lift. Daniel is delighted that the air or words that came out his mouth were accepted by his mother.